Midjourney Video versus VO3, which is the better video generator. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the key differences, similarities, and what type of content are both of these platforms creating when it comes to specifically video creation. We have Midjourney that has taken the lead in a lot of aspects. Midjourney has probably become one of the most popular tools out there when it comes to creating AI-based content. However, VO3 has now become super popular for its cinematic and hyper-realistic video. So let's get started. Starting off with Midjourney, I have signed into my account over here by clicking on sign in on the bottom left and I have a, a standard account. Then after that, we have VO3. Now you can click on uh, try and flow and one of the major differences that you're going to find between flow or VO3 as you might want to call it is their subscription plan. Now on Google, you currently do have a free variation. Now you guys can see you have this AI Ultra membership, but you also have the ability to create for free. So these are all free videos that I have created on VO3. I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples, starting off with this one over here. And I'm going to scroll to the start and I'm going to break it down step by step. So first off, this was my main prompt that I added and this was a direct text to video. I created this using VO3 fast and then this was the result. Hi. Now you guys can see that not only does VO3 create video content for you, but it also creates audio for you. Then I have, you know, a secondary scene that I created with this where she walks into her bedroom. Now, comparing this to Midjourney, you guys can see these are some examples of what other people are creating using Midjourney. You will find that there's no audio on Midjourney, which is a huge difference between both of these platforms. So this is where I honestly think it just truly separates the use case that you might have for Midjourney or VO3. And that is if you want audio with your video, you're going to only be limited to one option and that is VO3. I'll show you guys some other examples and it's not just the fact that VO3 is creating audio for you for, you know, dialogue, uh, but VO3 also creates audio for you when it comes to general videos. So if you ask it to create a video of a person standing, it's going to create some ambient noise as you would normally hear if you're just standing around in a room. This is very contrary to Midjourney where it's not able to create any audio. So even if the person looks like they're speaking or saying something, it's not going to be able to create that audio for you. Now I'll show you guys some of the videos that I've created using uh, Midjourney. So this is one of the video. This is a pretty realistic one and you guys will see in general, it looks very realistic. This is another alteration of that video. And this one has a little bit of a unrealistic end because you can see the eyes look a bit weird at the end. Then we have this one again. This one I do think again, she stares very sharply, which is a bit unrealistic. Then after that, we have this one, which is one of my top picks out of all of the videos. Now comparing this to VO3, this is what VO3 has created for me. So going back into flow i'll show you guys another example of what vo3 has created so starting off a influencer talking about how amazing these new lipsticks are like so and you guys can see this is a example now this was not shot correctly you guys can see the phone looks weird over here so i asked it to so you guys can see this is what it has correctly created after i revised my prompt and you know and redid it and this is how you're able to create you know more cinematic content you're able to create something that is not just going to be based upon you know a general idea of what you want but rather is going to be based upon very accurate scenes but what about video creation options again these are very different when you're starting a new project on vo3 you have the ability to get started directly from text to video or frames to video Whereas currently on Midjourney, if you want to start imagining, you have to add a starting frame or you have to add, you know, a AI generated starting frame. You can generate the starting frame or starting image with the help of Midjourney's creator. You can add a prompt for whatever you want to create and it will create that image for you. This was the original image that I had uh, used to create these four videos, as you guys saw over here. So you do need to have your initial frame that you're trying to build when you are building via Midjourney. Now, what about editing tools? Well, when you create a video on Midjourney, on the right, you will see some creation actions. So you can vary, you can make a similar image 
images, you can upscale it, you can rerun it, enhance it, or edit it, you can animate your videos. You guys can see we have a five second video right now, but if I want, I can rerun this. I can choose another start frame or choose to add my prompt, and then I can extend the video with low motion, high motion, or manual extensions as well. And you guys can, you know, truly pick out however you want to, you know, extend the video. You have two options when you're extending. You can leave it at auto. So based upon whatever context the AI tool has, it's going to extend the video. Or if you leave it at manual, it's going to ask you to put in more information about what the character should be doing next. Whereas if I go in flow and I'll show you guys some of the tools when it comes to flow or when it comes to VO3, whatever you might want to call it. Let's say I have this clip over here. Now within this, you guys can see that this is the video. Now this is a pretty decent video. Now if I want to, you know, make a longer video or variation on this, I can simply click on add to scene on the top. Once I click on add to scene over here, you guys can see if I click on this plus icon over here, I can jump to a completely new scene or I can simply click on extend. Now, VO3 only generates eight seconds of content per creation, whereas Midjourney only creates five seconds. So both of them are pretty limited, but VO3 does take the cake when it comes to creating longer content. Now, what about pricing? Because that is going to be a detrimental factor for a lot of people. Starting off with Google One, Google One has AI Ultra as well as their standard AI subscription. We're just going to refresh this because we have two basic plans that we do want to view. Now, these are the two plans available, starting off with their AI Pro plan for $19.99. Then you have their AI Ultra plan. Now, whenever you're using Google One, you can try it out completely for free for the first month. You have a one month free trial. And after that, your payment starts to begin. So even with their AI Pro, you get access to a thousand monthly AI credits, whereas on AI Ultra, it gives you access to 12,500 monthly AI credits. Now, if I was to compare this to Midjourney, which no longer has a free subscription available, you can scroll down, click on change plan over here. And over here, we can see we have four basic plans. Their $10 plan, 30, 60, and 120. So the $30 plan gives you 13 hours of fast generations. And then with this, the pro plan gives you 30 hours of fast generations and unlimited relaxed video generations. So if you're looking to create a lot of content, you have a high volume of content that you're looking to add then the pro plan is going to be something you need. I personally find that the Google One plans are far more cost effective. And even if you are on their $124 plan, which is very expensive, it still provides you with a lot of value. Midjourney is pretty amazing, but I do think that their video creation, their image creation is fantastic. But their video creation lacks a element of realism, which VO3 has already provided. Now, they also have a mega plan, which is their most expensive plan, which allows you unlimited video generation, stealth mode, and more. However, I would say when it comes to just feature-wise comparison, VO3 does a better job at extending scenes, building longer scenes, and being able to consistently give you uh, really nice videos. But where VO3 lacks is where Midjourney succeeds. Because Midjourney has optimized image creation so nicely, you are able to use stylization, aesthetics, video editing, and branding. So if you have a knack for creating only videos and you want them to be consistent, then maybe Midjourney might be the better option for you. But if you want dialogue, music, background, ambient noises, then using VO3 is going to be the better option for you. So I hope you guys found today's video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or any queries, you guys can leave those in the comments. I would love to know what you guys have to say.